Welcome back to Captain of Industry. We are now on episode 14 of our Let's Play series until launching the rocket. In this episode, we're going to cover a couple of new things connecting a lot of the new productions we've made, like the acid, the fertilizer, and a couple of other important elements. Just a few years have passed, and in that time, we have finished the research of that stage. We've reached research lab level 3, which is necessary then to move to the other stage. All of these researches here won't work if you don't have labs level 3, and to make lab level 3, you need lab equipment level 2, those gold ones, which require liquid nitrogen. We also did a couple of other research. We researched the wheat to be able to make bread and the organic fertilizer. I haven't found yet corn seed or soybean seed but these are the only two research of that stage that i haven't done because we just can't we need to find them on the map first and lastly we did a big very important research which is recycling with that with that recycling we're gonna have a number of buildings for example your labs or your maintenance depot but also later on your population that will be creating recyclables and with those recyclables we can create scraps you remember at the beginning of the game we had some iron scraps now we'll be able to also get um, other types of scraps which is of course very important because with that we can use less mining but we won't use it right away we have a couple of things to do before moving on to recycling i did a couple of other things here you may have seen is basically i completely deleted everything that was here so the old diesel production the old rubber production that was here as well as the storage of fuel and lastly the fuel station level one we took it out we moved all of this over here. Basically now what's happening is that my fuel is being created over here. Some of it is going into this advanced rubber with sulfur production over here. And the rest is continuing on that level 2 pipe and going all the way here into the storage. So I have some good storage over here and a fuel station level 2 with a couple of trucks assigned to it. You can see that a few are waiting. So that basically means I have enough. I don't need more at this moment. As we said in the previous episode, for now, I am keeping those old oil pump. There's still, you know, almost 20,000 crude oil there. In case I get into some trouble at some point, I can just restart it quickly. Similarly for the diesel generator here, they're paused, but if we need it, we can restart them very quickly. And I even put a pipe over here so that, you know, this day is always full. The shipyard was completely overloaded uh, to the point that even my ship had resources that couldn't be unloaded so that's bad because obviously then you can't get more it's still overloaded but uh, a lot less we're very close to emptying it and to do that i did a couple of things first is i created a few storages over here to store some of those items then the other important element is here you probably want to put a high priority you leave it to priority 10 12 you know unless you have a lot of trucks this will basically never get done here I have some copper ore, but I also had iron and coal before. Basically what I did is I just stopped, I paused all of my productions of coal and iron um, to make space for them to take it here instead. The only one that's remaining is the copper, and the copper is super full here. Basically we need to do the same, I need to stop all of this, and then uh, that will make some space for copper. Here. Or I could also you know, create another loose storage, but anyway, it was quite important, took a bit of time to just empty it so that you can then get newer resources, more resources into it. We also clean all of this. As you can see right now, this is light yellow because all of these small mountains have been cleaned. The next one we need to work on is over here, but this is actually wrong. I see level three, it should be level two. So let's fix that. Up, F and level two. And here, now that should work, perfect. Did I still assign? No, so let's assign two. Okay, so that will clean now this part over here. We also have a lot more pipes over here than before. Let's find out what I changed. The first one is coming from here. You can see this is my acid storage. I probably don't need at the end all so much storage, but that's fine. We can take that out later. And we have this pipe over here. That's going on the other side. This is not super clean. We can clean it in the future, but basically goes under the bridge and then all the way over here under the bridge continues, continues all the way over here. And here is going to connect directly here. This pipe that you can see here because it's going into my copper electrolysis 
I put it as priority number one. So basically you use acid before you use water. And the second new big pipe is the fertilizer. Fertilizer, remember, is created here in those chemical plants. I had first of all made some storage. We can delete that later. But now the big thing is to have that pipe that once again goes you know, under the bridge and all over then under the bridge and continues all the way but now goes here in the middle you know this is now not super clean we need it before a number of space because we didn't have pipe level twos now that we have pipe level twos we could have less space in the middle but that's fine for now we can leave it like this so this is the pipe that goes there you know um, goes down over here here continues like this and all the way here so now we have fertilizer inside all of our irrigated farms we're not really using it yet because i haven't put a target fertility that's why this is full but we'll do that in one of the next episode in the previous episode we built this here which was for steel right we had the steel production 48 per minute a good steel production now we expand it over here to make liquid nitrogen it is taking the nitrogen and the steel to make liquid nitrogen and it's really great to put it together because obviously in the middle you have your air separators some oxygen and some nitrogen the oxygen is going to be used on that side here for the oxygen furnaces and then the nitrogen is going to be used on that side for the chemical plants of course now that we're using both of these we do need to make sure that we have small stack to be able to just push into the atmosphere any surplus that we have so that these things can continue to work so yes my steel is coming here then it some of it is going over here into those chemical plants some of it is going into the storage and the rest is going this way all the way to my construction part level three so yes with this we're making liquid nitrogen that's for now going into the storage we have a lot of here but later on the idea is also to connect it so that it is used directly where it needs to be used you can see here basically i have my nitrogen coming at level zero and then my steel coming at level one and then going down and similarly to what i did here with the steel production and the balancer i started to optimize all of my conveyors L using conveyor belts level two in particular when necessary you're able to simplify a lot some of your chains here for example here this is my concrete production right before we had several belts it was a bit of a mess now we have just one belt starting over here going all the way over here and into that balancer and with those balancer we can do a couple of things we can create storage buffer this is what i have over here and then we can direct where to prioritize what is being sent so the concrete is actually quite easy right now it's only used in one place which is here to make construction part level one so that's easy there's only one but in other cases that's a lot more complex in particular here is one that i haven't done yet you can see right now this is a bit of a mess this is my production of mechanical parts and mechanical parts are used in many things right it is used in the maintenance depots it is used to make lab equipment to make vehicle parts and also sometimes you need some storage so that's why before i had a bit of this complex thing but that doesn't really work well now what we can do is simplify this a lot by having just one belt all the way here, then the balancer over here, and then choose where to send it first. For example, we can first send it to the maintenance to make sure our maintenance is at 100%. It's a bit my problem right now. Second priority, for example, to the research, and then if anything is left, to those storage over here. So as you saw, I did it here for the concrete. I also did it here for my copper. The copper is going here. Right now, similarly, there's only one use. So this is the priority, but then we're also making storage over here. We did the same for the iron. We have my iron that's starting all the way over here, going here, and then there's this balancer here. This way to create some storage and over here to go into all of the productions. Also did the same for construction part level one. Right now, all of the construction part level one are going on to that belt over here. And there's this balancer here to create storage here and for some to be used here so for example when i'm really low on parts what i can do is prioritize that side to just create a storage similarly for construction part level two the gold parts all goes over here and we have a balancer here 
As you can see, for example, right now, I have the priority out here because I want to recreate some stocks of gold parts. I don't really need to make more red parts. I have a lot. What is the major problem right now is that both for the iron and the coal, we have finished with the easy mining. What I call easy mining is basically to flatten the terrain. You know, there used to be a mountain full of iron. That mountain is gone. Now, the iron that is left is mostly underground. So we're going to need to get into real mining, meaning underground mining, where we also need to start playing with retaining walls. This is the same for coal. This is the last of uh, the coal that is above ground. So we're going to need to start really digging and putting some walls. And then lastly is I built my first assembly electric level 2 all the way over here at the end of my research. This is a temporary building, later on we'll move it, but this is quite an important or useful temporary to have. Basically now I don't need lab equipment at all, right? I have finished all of the research level 2, so these are useless. But I have many, you know, on this belt over here, I also have many here inside. I don't need to make more of these, so I can definitely pause this now that one and this one i can pause them for sure but this way by putting this one over here all the ones that are inside this belt will be sent over here all the ones that are inside this will be sent over here so instead of just deleting them and not using them i'm going to use them to make to start making lab equipment level two we also need liquid nitrogen this will be imported basically by trucks coming from here and so basically when this is empty then we can delete all of this move this over here so that it goes directly from this assembly electric level one to the one level two the other reason is that this way we're starting to make a reserve of lab equipment level two we should definitely actually have a small storage over here and to rotate it because to upgrade we need some reserves so right now we can't upgrade them we don't have reserve of lab equipment level two so it is, ladies and gentlemen, I know this was a bit of a particular episode. We didn't do many completely new things apart from the liquid nitrogen here and starting our lab equipment level 2. This was a lot of cleaning. This was a lot of preparing for the next episode, which will be quite important. But don't hesitate to press the like button. Tell me in the comments if you have any questions, requests or thoughts. I'd love to hear about it and I hope to see you next time.